Oh, this is my favorite part. I love this stuff. Hey, Brian. Oh, hey, what's up, Jim? Did you see some of the comments on the show? On YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, I read yeah. all of them. I'm sure you do. They, then you would know that they liked my part in the yeah, quite I saw a bit. That. I saw that. It was that. great. I think maybe I should get a bigger part of the show, bigger role, don't you think? Wait, you want a bigger part in the apple bite? Well, yeah. I mean, look. Look at some of these Look at some of these comments. They're great. They're great. It's like, oh, he's, he's fantastic. He's my hero. And they want okay. to see more of me. Okay, yeah, right? yeah. You know what? Um, Yeah, let, let's do that. Yeah. Really? Yeah, for sure. Sure, Jim. All right? Great. Okay. What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. Now, we have a sweet goodie giveaway at the end of our show, but first, to the stories. Now, hot on the heels of the iPhone 5, the news is now all about the iPad mini. According to the Wall Street Journal, Apple has started mass production of the new iPad mini. My own sources confirmed the same information, and Mako Takara reported earlier in the week that Foxconn's facilities had started production in Brazil. It's also where they shot that awesome scene in Fast Five where they were like jumping through these buildings in Rio de Janeiro. Oh, that was sick. All right, guys, now you know these stories are true because guess what? Even more leaked parts. Okay, now we know none of this is official, but website ukrainianiphone.com claims these are more images of iPad mini parts from factories in China featuring the inside of an iPad mini back cover with a headphone mini jack that will still remain on top and a SIM card slot that's been moved to a lower position. The outer part of the back cover appears to have the same black anodized aluminum as the iPhone 5. Sexy, but sensitive. Now you can also see this image of the purported 7.85 inch LCD display and the front bezel of a white iPad mini as well that match it with rumors from over a month ago. So when might we expect an announcement? Well, a report from the Apple 2.0 blog says invitations for Apple's mini event will be sent out on October the 10th with the unveiling to happen on October the 17th, and the iPad minis would then go on sale on Friday, November the 2nd. The source, a major investor. Translation, a really, really rich guy who's trying to drive up his stock. Now we're expecting an announcement this year, but if Apple is selling the new four inch screen iPod touch with 32 gigs for 299, what are they going to sell an iPad mini for? 299, 349, even if the other competitors in the seven inch space are 199? Well, we'll see, and you can be sure we'll be all over the iPad mini news like stripes on a zebra. But let's not forget about the iPhone 5. Now, a lot of you weren't really happy with what I said last week. For example, Matthew writes in with, hey, this is the Apple bite. Why don't you just quit the show or just call it the Samsung bite? Go buy a Galaxy S3 already. Okay, I think I'll just quit. Now, Elsbetch on Twitter says, I wanna cuss you out. What'd you say about the Galaxy S3? We're team iPhone over here. Actually, I'm team Edward. Now on a more positive, unrelated note, an anonymous viewer writes in with this. After finding my iPod touch all wet multiple times today, I caught my two-year-old licking the screen. She won't confess to learning to lick the screen from you, but since we watch the Apple Bite every week, it is likely she has picked up this behavior from you. Mission accomplished. All right, guys, Apple biters. See, some of you guys get crazy, like way too crazy. I didn't say the S3 was the best phone. That always comes down to what you want in a phone, not me. But it's absolutely really the most innovative phone right now. Just deal with it. Unfortunately, it doesn't get any better with the latest iPhone 5 scandal called Purplegate. This is where a purple haze or purple flares appear when you point the camera towards the sun or bright lights. Have you guys seen this effect on your pictures? Well, some photography experts have speculated that the new sapphire glass covering on the iPhone's camera might be the culprit. Can we just throw a bad apple out already? Now, picture comparisons clearly show the effect and Apple had an official response for one Gizmodo reader recommending her to angle the camera away from the bright light source which implies that you might be holding it wrong. Now, Apple also says the purple flare is considered normal behavior for the iPhone 5's camera. Well, at least I won't have to use Instagram filters anymore. Now, you guys probably heard Apple CEO Tim Cook made a public apology for Apple's poor maps right after last week's beatdown of a show from us, so clearly he watches the Apple bite. I can't think of a better reason of getting up in the morning in Cook's statement, he said Apple was extremely sorry and even suggested map alternatives to use until Apple gets their maps right. Now, Apple even created a section on their app store for them. 
Some of you wrote in to try using Bing Maps or MapQuest alongside the other alternatives we gave, but in some good news, Street View is coming to the web version of Google Maps by the time you see this, and you can use it on an iPhone or iPad at maps.google.com. So we like that. All right, guys, let's take a break to check out the app of the week. You guys have to check out a new game called Granny Smith, and it's just 99 cents. It's a fun racing side scroller where the goal is to collect three apples and coins, time your jump so you land on your feet by releasing the jump button at the perfect time, and then use your cane to slide on rails. With all the coins you've collected, you can then use them to upgrade Granny Smith with gadgets like banana peels and baseballs. See all the things your grandma actually kept in her pockets. Now the 3D graphics have this cool Wallace and Gromit styling and it's a refreshing new and unique game on iOS devices so check it out. And finally guys, let's do our giveaway. If you guys have an iPhone 5 and you don't want it to get all scratched up or beat up, my good friends at Spec are hooking you up the Apple Biters with their Pixel Skin HD and Fab Shell cases for the iPhone 5. Now these cases are hot right now. Now I personally have a purple case because it's my favorite color. Or because you like Justin Bieber. As long as you love me. All right, guys. Well, all you have to do is watch last week's episode and name just five of the apps that were on my iPhone 5 screen when I opened it. Send your responses to my Twitter account at Brian Tong or email us at the Applebyte at CNET.com and we'll randomly pick the winners and announce them on next week's show. And finally, guys, we just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge October 5th as the one year anniversary since Steve Jobs passed away. Now, you guys can say what you want about him, but you can't deny he was one of the greatest minds we've ever seen in technology and business. And let's be honest, our show wouldn't even exist without him. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's show. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time for another bite of the apple. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's show. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time for another bite of the apple. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hey, Jim. Jim. Yeah, hey, Brian. Here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know that expanded role you were talking about, you know, yeah. being on the apple bite a what little more? What, what, what do you want? <laughs> First of all, I got the perfect thing for you. All right? Excellent. I'm ready. The stage needs to be swept. It's a little dirty. I'd like you to clean it up, all right? Here you go. Yeah, Thanks sure. a lot, Jim. I'll yeah. see you next week, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>